Let the beat drop. <laughs> Come on! Hi, I'm Flo. I'm going to be cooking a really delicious salad today. It's roasted beetroots, feta, pui lentils with some honey and balsamic and red onion. It's really, really delicious, sort of earthy and sweet and salty. You're going to love it. Cool. So first thing we're going to do is start with the beetroots. These are already cooked, so it's a really quick salad to put together, but we do want to roast them off just to get a little bit of colour and sort of jammy flavour and really intensify that beetroot beetrootiness. Um, so we're just going to get some foil, pop them in the oven. If you're roasting beetroots from raw, take sort of anything between an hour to an hour and a half, two hours, depending on the size. So this is just kind of cutting that time in thirds even. It's, it's really, really quick. So. Depending on the size of beetroots, half a quarters. I think I'll do these in quarters because we do want it to be a little bit delicate. So just straight through and then just spread them on the foil. Really lovely and tender. This is going to be for two people, so I probably won't use all of these beetroots. But it's a really easy salad to dial up or dial down depending on how many people you have. So I think that's plenty. So those are our beetroots. And then we're just going to sort of boost those flavours that are already there. So salt and pepper goes without saying. Um, beetroots are super, super sweet. So they can take quite a lot of seasoning. So definitely go sort of full on on that. And then loads of nice pepper. And then these are just some lovely um, fresh herbs. So we've got rosemary and thyme. Just want to kind of strip it off. What that does, it kind of bruises them. So you get a bit of the oils out. Kind of spread them around. Thyme. Leave those whole because they are an absolute pain to pick out the little stems, so just make sure they're left whole. Um, touch of honey just to bring everything together, just all over the top. And last but not least, a little bit of olive oil to make sure that everything sort of amalgamates. Oh, such a good sound. <laughs> and then all you're going to do is just kind of give them a little toss, make sure they're all covered. And then I would kind of fold up the sides of the foil. You don't want to sort of package them up. It just means you have a little border so that when you take them out, if there's any juices, it's kind of contained. So just fold up the sides of the little border. And then a really hot oven. This is at 225. If it's a fan, you want to do about 200 um, for about 20 minutes, just so they get lovely and charred. So straight in. Nice. So next we're going to move on to the dressing. It's basically a balsamic vinaigrette but with a little bit of red onion through it just to give it a little bit of bite. So probably going to use about half of this um, because we're just going to keep it raw. So don't want any sort of real aggressive onion flavour in there. A million different ways to cut an onion. This is how I do it. And then as fine as you can. And then when you get to this part where it's starting to get a bit awkward, just push it down and then you've just got a much larger surface and then go back. And then it's just a lot easier. Also, when you get to this point, just throw this away. This is like a penny. Just, you don't hold it. Don't lose a finger for this. It's not worth it. So that goes. And then this super, tiny, tiny, tiny piece of onion just straight into the bowl. And we're going to cover those with the balsamic and let them steep just to soften them up a little bit. Kind of, I guess, like a quick pickle in a way, just kind of taking the edge off. So a little bit of salt to bring out the moisture. And then this is this very nice balsamic vinegar and you're just going to put a few tablespoons right over the top. Really delicious. It's like almost like treacle. Give that a little stir. And then that is just gonna sit for a minute while we move on with the lentils and then we'll come back to that later. This is another super great sort of shortcut hack is these are pre-cooked pui lentils. So it's come in the packet. You don't need to soak them or pre-cook them. You can, if you have dry, just soak them overnight and boil them, but they've just done the work for you. So might as well. Um, so we're just gonna warm them through with a few bits of seasoning to kind of lift the flavors. Um, then we're gonna go back to the dressing, get the beets out, put it all together. Super easy. So with this in mind, 
my favorite part, turning on the hob. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, this is, I feel like this is trolling me. <laughs> so we're just gonna put in a nice glug of extra virgin olive oil. I'm just gonna go straight in with these lentils. Um, they're already cooked, so we're really just seasoning them to warm them through. That's all we're doing. Um, so you want a little bit of a sizzle, just to make sure that they're actually doing what they're supposed to. Tiny bit of salt and pepper in there. Kind of want to season all the way through with something like this because there's so many elements. If you only season like the salad or the beetroots or something else, you're going to have bland pockets and really overly salty pockets. So just a little bit of seasoning the whole way through. I'm just going to let these go for a few minutes, maybe like, I don't know, well, as long as the beetroots take to cook really, so about 10 minutes. But they can just sit on the hob as well. They don't need any sort of extra work. Cool. I'm going to turn that down a smidge. That seems to be coming along nicely. So, just gonna take a little bit of brown sugar, not too much, because the balsamic's nice and sweet as well. A touch of brown sugar, maybe like half a teaspoon or so. We're just gonna do it to taste as well. And go in with a bit of olive oil. And this is super simple, so it's not in any way trying to be like the French vinaigrette. It's just trying to be a lovely sort of fresh dressing with a bit of bite. Always taste, taste, taste. Mm, that's good. It needs a little bit more sharpness. Mm, that's good. This is coming along nicely. It's sort of all starting to warm through and break up a little bit. Cool. I think that's looking good. So I'm just going to actually turn that off now but leave it on the heat so it kind of warms through and just finish with the little squeeze of the lemon. There we go. Take that off. I'm actually just gonna get those out into a bowl or onto a plate just so that they don't overcook because you don't want them to disintegrate at all. Mm, they smell so good. And they've gone a little bit lighter in colour, which is nice as well. Not so, <laughs> not so dark brown. <laughs> so just let them sort of cool a little bit. Uh, and then we're just gonna pick mint. So if you wanted to be chefy, you could chiffonade this mint, which is a fancy way of saying rolling it up into a cigarette. cigarette. <laughs> rolling it up into a cigar shape and uh, like finely ribboning it. Um, but I just kind of like it roughly torn. I just think it's really nice. And especially if you get these like teeny tiny leaves, I kind of like to keep those to one side just to make it a bit fancy. And any of these sort of, what I always think of like haagen toppers, they, uh, they can all stay to one side. They're just lovely and pretty. Right, so I'm just gonna get the beetroot out now. They're looking lovely and slightly browned around the edges, sort of slightly charred. You can just see so you can see they're just like slightly charred just on the edges here and they're really, really uh, sort of flavorful. You can smell all the flavors coming out, so they're definitely ready. All right, so we're just gonna set those to one side and just let them calm down for a second, get a little bit cooler. As I said, it's a warm salad, not a hot salad. So I'm gonna start off with this lovely lamb's lettuce. It is so, so, so pretty. And let's spread it around. I just want to slightly dress these leaves so they just don't look super dry. So just a little bit of olive oil, just to give them a bit of a lift. And then, I'm gonna just start building up really, it's just really straightforward. So start with some lentils, kind of sprinkle them all around. I'm just gonna use my hands, <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> I'm sort of planting things in a garden. <laughs> it looks like soil and leaves. Cool. I'm gonna lift these leaves up a little bit. Nice. And then a little bit of dressing all over. It's quite a thick dressing, so make sure it gets all over the various parts of the salad. You don't want anything that's like too bland. And save a little bit as well, because you want to really be seasoning through each layer, not just one load on top. 
our delicious feta. More than you think, always. And just lovely sort of crumbles. Smells so delicious. I'm going to go on with our beetroots. So picking off any of those herbs and just really lovely tender little pieces of beetroot. And because these are fairly small, they've cooled down enough to be able to handle, so that's the exact temperature you want. This would also be really nice if you can get like golden beetroot or rainbow candy beetroot. That would also be really, really nice. Finish with a touch more dressing just so those beetroots have flavor as well and also the feta because even though it's salty it doesn't really give us a huge amount else so we just really want to lift out those flavors and then last but not least just some torn mint literally just torn as I said you can chop this I just think it's nice when it's a little bit rustic that was the word I used to use a lot in the restaurant when things would go wrong <laughs> it was always rustic it's a rustic apple tart um, but this is actually on purpose rustic which is nice and then these little haagen toppers just to add a bit of freshness. And that's it. So that is beetroot, lentils, lamb's lettuce, mint, feta, all the good stuff.